In the last video, we talked about lighting your food scene using natural lighting. In this video, we will discuss artificially lighting your scene. Natural lighting is just plain easy. Artificial lighting is a bit trickier, but with some practice, it can closely simulate natural lighting. I live in Minnesota where it is dark early, six months out of the year, so during those months I rely almost entirely on my tabletop fluorescent lights as a quality artificial light source. What you are looking at here is my artificial lighting setup. I use two Lowell Ego brand lights. These lights are affordable, priced right around $100 per unit, and they are portable. Each light holds two 27 watt bulbs that cost around $15 each. The lights and bulbs can easily be found on Amazon. Always have at least one extra bulb on hand. I learned this one the hard way. Also, you don't need two lights to get great results. Getting by with just one of these lights is very feasible. Lighting food directly from the front produces unappetizing, washed out, one-dimensional images. <gasps> yes, that was me gasping. Artificial lighting rule number one. Avoid using a camera flash as your main light source. Rule 1B. Avoid using overhead lighting as your main light source. Turn off all lights in the room except for your tabletop lighting. Light from other sources can cause glare or even alter the color of your images as you saw in the previous photo. Start with one light placed at the back or side of your scene. This will be your primary light source. Light can sometimes be too harsh, producing blown out spots in your image. Yes, that is a pillowcase I'm holding, which is doubling as my light diffuser. Or a white t-shirt will do the trick as well. Diffusers help to scatter light, softening it and adding color back into the blown out areas of the image. With the images side by side, you can see a little bit better how the diffuser helped to soften the light. If you have two lights, experiment with both of them. The light that is closest to your subject will be your primary light source. The secondary light can be further away and moved around until you find your ideal setup. I always have plenty of foam board nearby. It serves a couple different purposes, one of them being a great and affordable light reflector. Reflectors are used to bounce light back to the subject, helping to eliminate harsh shadows and even out the lighting in your scene. Experiment with the placement of reflectors and also with the distance they are from your subject. Using a single diffused light with two reflectors situated close to the subject typically produces an appetizing image with nice, soft lighting. This is one of my favorite ways to artificially light food. You can also try moving the diffuser or pillowcase to your secondary light. Another one of my favorite setups involves diffusing the light that sits to the side and placing a reflector right in the middle of both lights. This setup produces intense light coming from the back and a softer light coming from the side. The result is a little bit more dramatic than when just one light is used with reflectors situated close to the subject. With artificial lighting, tons of experimenting and practice is necessary. Take time to look through your images as you go so you know what is working and what isn't. Figuring out where and how to position the lights, reflectors, and diffusers really depends on the food, the scene, and the overall mood that you are trying to convey. This is something that will get easier the more you do it. Camera settings have a huge impact on the way light is interpreted in your scene, but we will discuss this in the next video. Let's quickly recap the artificial lighting tips from this video. Avoid using camera flashes and overhead lighting. Use a quality artificial light source. One or two lights should light your scene from the side and or back. Use a diffuser to help soften light when needed. Use a reflector to eliminate shadows and even out the lighting in your scene. And last but not least, practice and experiment a ton with your lights, diffusers, and reflectors.